Hello to you, dear viewers of Divine Mercy Radio Television, and welcome to our program, Science and Symbols in the Church. I am called Father Gavi Zinkeg, and I'm your host for this program. Today, we shall be sharing with you more on some signs and symbols in the church. In our previous episodes, we began to look at the regalia, the ornaments, or the various items that the bishop or Achilles, Bishop, Cardinal, and even the Holy Father, what they put on that immediately identifies them into their office. Last time we looked at the pectoral cross of the Bishop and the Holy Father and all the others, the other prelates, and that is clearly a visible item that when you look at them, you can easily see. Another, another very visible item that we clearly notice is the Bishop's ring, the Bishop's ring, which he puts on his right and that is noticeable because the bishop's office or the prelate's office, the first and most noticeable act that he does whenever he meets his flock, his people, is to bless them. Right? And as he blesses them, you will obviously notice that he puts on a particular ring on his right arm, which is different from the, the wedding ring. Origin of the name Fisherman's Ring comes from, or is inspired by Jesus Christ telling the chosen apostle Peter, who is the head of the church, who is the first pope, when he tells him that I will make you fishers, fisher of men. No, we are told and we know clearly from Scripture that Peter was a fisherman, and many other apostles with him. They were fishermen, and as fishermen, it was a, 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 an interesting change or switch or tune in their profession. Fishermen became fishers of men, and Peter, being notably one of uh, the key and the head of the apostles, who is the first pope, he carries that big title, and it is from there that the, the origin of that name, the fisherman's dream, came to be. In the 13th century, it became a seal for all the Pope's private letters, and so it was a, a, a clear identity which was accorded to the Holy Father because whenever you saw that sing, sing it on a document, you knew that that letter was from the Holy Father. Around the 15th century, that tradition continued. However, it became customary at that time that not only is it the, the, the ring of the Holy Father, but it should be destroyed at the end of every papacy, meaning that at the end of or at the death of the Holy Father, the Carmelingo, who is in charge of that particular rite, takes that ring 
at the front of all the cardinals. He destroys it. We shall come to understand why he destroys the ring as we continue this uh, episode. So, like you can see on the images, that is a ring put on by the Holy Father. And he uses that every uh, throughout his office till the point of his death. As the head of the Catholic Church, St. Peter, the apostle, was chosen by Jesus Christ to be the first pope. And before his baptism, Peter was an ordinary fisherman, like we said, but he resurrected from there into, be, into the new profession, which is fisher of men. And that is what the office of the Holy Father is. The Holy Father has that divine mission to root out sinners into the path of righteousness. So essentially, if we were to summarize the role of the Holy Father, we can say that the Holy Father's role or mission is to bring sinners back to God, is to bring those who are astray back to the Holy Father, to, to God the Father. And that is why he puts on the fisherman's ring. He is a fisher of men by excellence. Now let us look at uh, the tradition of uh, the fisherman's ring. How did it come to be? How did it come into history to be the Pope's ring? The Vatican strictly observes traditions concerning the very Was used to certify important documents and letters, like we have said, right up to the year 1842. Literally, the Pope used this as a seal, as a stamp, where he used to certify important documents. And so, like we, we tried to intimate earlier, the reason why the ring is destroyed is simple. So that during the period of looking for the next Pope, looking for the next Holy Father, the temptation of that ring being used maybe for any certificate or any document where there is no Holy Father should be avoided or should not should, nobody should be exposed to that. So the ring Sidious to observe this uh, tradition of the Pope's ring, and it has been attributed to always be fashioned with precious stones, just like the pictorial cross of gold, of emerald, and In, in, in that choice of not wanting his own ring to be fashioned out of gold, he 
identifies with some form of detachment, detachment from gold, which is a very precious and expensive metal. So that is that about uh, the Holy Father's dream. The Holy Back to God, and that is why he has Pope that reign throughout his papacy. That was that about the Pope's reign, and in our subsequent editions, in our subsequent series, which I'll be talking about the bishop's reign and other uh, regalia that pertain to the office of uh, the bishop. Thank you very much for your keen attention. I was your host, Father Gavin Zinke. Stay tuned to our program, Signs and Symbols, and to our programs. Thank you.